OG coming through. OG coming through. All right, man, let's get right into it, man. Grove Street Games, War Drum Studios, whoever the hell you are, what's happening? Everything good, man? Y'all looking shaky over there, man. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of internal conflict going on over that way, it looks like. <laughs> looking like Rockstar Games then gave these niggas the boot. You know what I mean? I'm online. I'm seeing things or whatever. And I'm reading on Twitter that, you know, the GTA Defective Edition has a new code base path. Grove Street Games is no longer associated with this project. God damn. <laughs> you know, but see... This is Rockstar Games' fault at the end of the day, man. They decided to, you know, give off these three legendary games to some weak-ass mobile developer. Like, dog, look at Grove Street Games' resume, my nigga. They only good for putting out mobile ports and shit like that. You don't give these motherfuckers a full-fledged game, man. You know what I mean? And now that I'm thinking about it, like, Rockstar Games acquired all these fucking studios, and the one that comes to, the first one that comes to mind is the uh, former Crackdown studio, and I think it's called Rockstar Dundee or some shit like that now. But anyway, you got all these familiar faces that could have worked on the remaster treated it with care you know what i'm saying put out a much better product versus what we got it's a goddamn shame you gotta mod this bitch out on pc for it to be worth a damn you know what i'm saying you had all these familiar faces that could have worked on this goddamn game you give it to some weak ass port developer you know what i'm saying these motherfuckers ain't got no real experience when it comes to a full-fledged game my nigga you know what i'm saying these niggas take a perfectly fine product and find a way to fuck that shit up, man. You know what I'm saying? You can go back years ago to the damn uh, GTA 3 10-year anniversary edition, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm playing this motherfucker like, how the fuck is this shit worse than the original, man? You know what I mean? Graphics look a little better. I like the main menu and the fucking uh, color setting, but God damn it, this motherfucker feels worse than the original. What's happening? But yeah, according to the patch notes, which really ain't shit, they talking about some stability improvements across all three titles on all platforms. That's it. <laughs> Whatever the fuck that means. And another thing I've noticed with a lot of these game companies, man, they patch notes be half-assed. Like, you gotta boot the game up and play that bitch for yourself to see any fucking differences. Because these niggas, they, they, they don't fucking break down the patch notes the way they should in most of these goddamn games. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just something I've noticed. But I've noticed that a lot of these fucking games they'll put out a patch you know what i'm saying and the notes will be real vague you know what i'm saying I, it feels like fucking playstation firmware update just like what the fuck are you patching what are all these updates actually doing you know what i'm saying you might boot it up notice something you might not i mean for example you know they they, they had little you know sneaky patches or whatever you know what i'm saying where, you know, they fix CJ jeans and shit like that. Because his jeans look crazy in the beginning of the game, man. His jeans look crazy. You know what I'm saying? That, that, you know, you got the old texture in the new, uh, in the Unreal Engine looking all fucking wonky and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? That, that's, that's one little tidbit that kind of, you know what I mean, irritated me. But other than that, you know what I mean? You need to boot this motherfucker up on PC and really mod it out to make the game playable, man. You know what I mean? Because consoles, it ain't worth a fuck. You're very limited. You shit. You can't even get 60 FPS if you're worried about that. I mean, shit. If you if you care about graphics and shit like that, shit. You can't even run F, You can't even run 60 FPS on motherfucking consoles. You got to buy a PC. I said, man. <laughs> but yeah, man. It's sad what went down with the defective editions, man. You know what I mean? This was gonna be a lot of people's introductions to the original games, the three, you know, the OG trilogy or whatever, man. You know, because a lot of motherfuckers in this generation started with GTA 4. Most of them started with GTA 5. That's all they fucking know. You know what I'm saying? So we want to go back to the beginning of the PS2 era and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? See what we saw? Shit, nigga. <laughs> That's not a good look. The defective edition is not a good look, man. The defective edition single-handedly put a black eye on the og trilogy man you know what i'm saying because i remember when i first played the defective edition man you know what i'm saying i'm like oh what are people talking about i'm like oh so far so good woo, 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 man nigga i get deeper into the game man i start seeing crazy shit the game starts crashing on a nigga you know what i'm saying my mission markers are appearing across the fucking map it's like come on man and then these goofy motherfuckers that take two got the nerve to threaten modders that actually care about the fucking game. They actually put forth effort to fix the motherfucking game that y'all should fix. It's like, come on, man. This, this, this is some of the nastiest work I've ever seen in gaming history, man. You know what I'm saying? These bitch ass niggas that take two. Shark card zoned it. And these bitch ass niggas, man. I mean, just imagine the mod support for this game, man, if take two wasn't a bunch of bitches. 
You know what I'm saying? Most of the big time models, they done got scared off. Shit, they say, man, fuck this. Let's go make some GTA 5 mods or something like that. You know what I mean? They ain't really fucking with the OG titles like that shit. Because cause if you go on like Mod Nexus and stuff like that and these other trilogy mod websites, man, you know, mod support's kind of scarce, man. Which is sad because, you know, coming up, man, going on, you know, GTA Inside, GTA Gaming.com, GTA Garage, you know what I'm saying? Real niggas remember these websites here. You know what I'm saying? I mean, mod support was endless, man. I, I, I mean, there was so many motherfucking mods to download, nigga. Shit, you'll burn your motherfucking computer up, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Your shit'll explode. <laughs> I mean, there was so many mods to choose from, man. But now it's more, it, it's scarce these days. Of course, you know, GTA 5 is real mod heavy with 5M and shit like that. But, you know, it is what it is, man. What can you do? But anyways, I've said everything I had to say. What do y'all think? Cutthroat ball out. Peace.